Hello everyone. This video will be all about the wands in RuneScape. I hope by the end of it that you'll know everything there is to know about these new magic weapons. Ok, so let's start from the top. Wands are one-handed magic weapons worn in the main hand slot. The better the wand, the higher accuracy bonus they give. This means increased chance of your spell hitting your target. The wands from the mage training arena also give you mage crit bonuses from 0.5 to 2% depending on which wand you're using. Now as they are one-handed, unlike staves, you can wield something in your offhand slot as well, such as a shield or a book, depending on whether you'd rather have more offence or defence. Thankfully, many more wands have been added into the game since the evolution of combat, as there only used to be four of them. Now these range from level 1 all the way to level 80, and as you can see here, the bonuses they give reflect their level requirement. Some of these new wands are player made, such as the spider or bat ones, through the grafting skill. However, others can only be obtained as drops from monsters, such as the wizard, the Grifolic, and the Virtus ones. The damage a wand deals is entirely dependent on the spell that you're casting, with no extra damage coming from the wand itself, unlike the 1.5 times damage modifier that you'll get from using a staff. Now, due to only having this 100% damage output, wands cast spells 33% faster than staves. A staff casts a spell once every 3.6 seconds, a wand is once every 2.4. Now this casting speed is halved to once every 1.2 seconds if you're wearing one of the offhand magic books. This will, however, reduce your damage by 25%. Alright, time to work out the DPS of our three casting methods. Let's say we're using Airwave, which has a base damage of 595. When using our staff, we have a 1.5 times multiplier, so that gives us a damage of 892.5. This damage, when casting at a speed of once every 3.6 seconds, gives us a damage per second of 247.9. When using a wand without a book, we have a 1 times damage multiplier, so we're dealing the base 595 damage every 2.4 seconds. This also equates to 247.9 damage per second. Finally, when using the wand with a book, we have our 595 base damage multiplied by 0.75. This gives us a damage of 446.25 every 1.2 seconds. Now this equates to 371.875 damage per second, which is a lot better than the other two. Now you've got to bear in mind these numbers won't be exact, as you will also have to consider the critical hit damage based on your magic crit modifier, but this can vary depending on what gear you've got, so I've just ignored it for these calculations. So as you can see, a staff gives the same amount of damage output as a wand without a book, but at the cost of being a two-handed weapon. The staff does, however, have a greater accuracy than a wand of the same magic level, but personally, I feel a wand will always be more useful, as you've got the ability to use a shield for those life-saving shield abilities, or a book for that increased DPS. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you understand ones now, and how they work in RuneScape. Please like the video if you want to see more guides like this one, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.